Hey, how's it going? Sean with Bio Unlimited. Today we are going to build uh, some copper ground rods for my amateur radio. So what we're going to build for the ground rods, we're going to call it a I think a couple of guys have called it water drills online. Basically all you're doing is you're connecting a garden hose with just city water pressure off your garden hose to your tap on the side of your house into the ground rod and what it's going to do is it's going to drill down for you. Basically, you don't have to punch and pound and hammer and get slide hammers and stuff. All you do is you put the water pressure through and force it down. So I'm going to show you the basics on how to build the actual drill right now, which the drill part is also your, going to be your ground rod and it's going to stay in the ground. So what I've got here is a piece of half inch standard copper piping that you buy for any household project or anything like that. Uh, I have cut, give me a half sec here. I have cut on the end. I don't know how well you can see that. I've cut it on an angle a little bit. I tried it with a straight cut and it went a little bit slower. The second one I've already put two in. Second one I put a bit of an angle cut on it and uh, it seemed to go a little bit faster. So, I've, what I've already done is taken just a piece of uh, maroon, they call it medium scotch bright, and just cleaned up the end of the pipe. All you do is put it on there and it's just going to give you a, bit, a little bit better connection. And I've already used the, and I've already used the adapter. If you can see the adapter, I'll try and hold it. All it is, is a 90 degree for the copper pipe. And this piece is a half inch pipe thread. And then it fits inside the 90 degree. And I've already soldered that together. And then the other end here is going to get soldered onto the end of the water, our water drill slash ground rod. So here, let's do it up right now. Now this has already got uh, some solder on it, so I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to heat it up and kind of push it on. When you first when you first do it, they're already gonna have it's gonna be clean inside, so you won't have to do this. It'll just slide right over top. But because I've already soldered it on two other pipes, it's got a bunch of solder goop inside. So we just heat it up, melts the solder inside again, put it on there, try and stop it from vibrating. And the solder you use, when you're doing normal household, you use acid core solder. Anything you're doing with electrical, if you're building a copper J-pole to these ground rods, you want to use resin core solder meant for electrical because the acid in the acid core solder that you use for normal household plumbing, when you run electricity through it, like your current uh, current for your ground or in the fact for the J poles, the, the current that you're putting out of your antenna, the acid in there will actually create electrolysis and it'll actually weaken the connection. So that's basically it right there. Try and get you a little bit better view of this, what it looks like. So that's the piece all soldered on. Like I said, all it is is a piece of half inch copper tubing, a 90 degree, and then a fitting to fit inside the 90 and come out to half inch pipe. And that's going to fit into our ball valve. So if you give me two seconds here, I'll grab the rest of that stuff and we'll head outside and we'll try and put this thing in the ground. All right, we're back here. I'm um, sorry if I get a little bit of wind noise. It's the windiest day of the year so far. And uh, I just happen to be doing this work outside. So here we go. Here's what we've got. Uh, this is my garden hose coming in right here. So just your standard garden hose fitting. I've got this one. I've got a ball valve because I want to be able to turn it off and on without having the garden hose blowing water everywhere and getting a big mess. So all I've got here is female garden hose fitting to this one's to female pipe thread and then I've got a little adapter going from three quarter inch pipe thread down to half inch pipe thread and then that goes into a half inch ball valve which screws into the top of our water drill slash ground rod that we just built and if you remember that one was a half inch pipe thread on that side. So basically, all you you could go, if you wanted to do this with less parts and make it easier, if you went from the end of this, if you could get a piece to come from your half inch copper ground rod into uh, a male, or sorry, it would be a female garden hose. I don't know if they make that fitting. You could just thread your garden hose right on the end of that, get somebody to turn the tap on, turn it back off when you're done, it would do the same thing. But I just find this setup easier for doing it down here since I've got about a 75 foot garden hose and I don't want to run back and forth. So let's get set up here and we'll uh, push this thing in the ground. I'll show you how easy this is. 
All right, so we got it uh, set up here. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me when I'm standing up top, but basically this is all connected to that. Oh, sorry, and the copper pipe that I'm using is six foot long. Some guys have gone eight foot longer, whichever. Uh, as long as you got at least six feet down. So uh, I gotta stand up. I'm gonna be six foot above where you're seeing right now. But uh, all I'm gonna do is just turn on the valve at the top and I'm just working the pipe up and down. If you watch the sticker at the beginning here, that little, this little sticker right here, if you watch that, you'll see kind of the movement you got to do as you're pushing up and down and you just work it in. And uh, you can start the timer and see how long this takes. So basically just using a pumping motion and you're just going to, once you hit resistance, you just pull it up a little, push it back down. Pick it up, push it back down. And like I said, this is a six foot ground rod that we built out of this pipe. And I got kind of a, this is in behind my shop, so I've kind of got a, a clay rock base in behind here that they built before they put down the six inch concrete slab. I'm thinking this is still easier than hitting this thing with a big with a big hammer. And there we go. Let's see if we're in frame here. Well, there you go. That's how long it takes to put a six foot ground rod in without using a hammer. So I'll just disconnect this one and then uh, we'll do a wrap up here. Hey guys, sorry about that. I guess you're wondering how the heck you get that thing back off there again. <laughs> All you do is you take the torch again. I'll try not to get in frame here. But the problem is there's gonna be water down in the bottom here. And this whole thing's gonna be full of water. So when you try and heat up this joint, it's gonna keep cooling itself. So what you do is you just heat up the copper pipe down here. And as you'll see, it'll start spitting water out the other side and start boiling it and turn into steam and it'll actually force the water out. You might see a drip in there. So you want to get some of that water out so the water level gets back down to about here. So it's not cooling that joint as you're trying to heat it to get the solder off. So you can see all the water and a little bit of steam coming out. Make sure you don't put your hand near it because it will burn you. And then once you got it out where it doesn't seem to be coming out in the liquid form anymore, you just move back up to the top, grab your pair of pliers because it's going to be really hot. And just start reheating that joint again. You can see my solder is already dripping off. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. And then if you want to get even better, Take a cap. Like I said, there's still going to be some solder on there from before. Stick that on there. If you want to finish the job and make it look beautiful, take a little bit more solder. Dip her in there. You're capped. You're done. And that's what your rod's going to look like. That way, if anybody comes wandering around here, if they do fall on it, hopefully it won't poke too big of a hole in them. And then for our ground wire, got these here you buy these at any in any of your electrical uh, the electrical outlets and stuff or in your I bought these at uh, no plugs or anything I bought it at Home Depot in the electrical department but any hardware store that has electrical departments gonna have your ground wire if you can see that I think this one's an 8 gauge or so and then all I'm doing I'm actually doing four of these in a row in a series circuit gives you a little bit better ground plane so all I'm doing is you just take your take your wire you run it through there sorry I'm trying to keep this in frame I can't see down that low but you just run it through there and I'll feed it through here and they got a little 
little drop boat swing on them. Pull it from your other rod. You're going to have to give it a bit of a twist. screwdriver tighten up the clamp on your rod tighten up there's a, a set screw on the back where the wire runs through snug that down and you just want them snug you don't have to reef on these things it'll get good contact through that way and there you have it, a six foot ground rod slash water drill put into the ground. And I didn't have to do any manual labor barely. <laughs> Besides that, uh, clean up, hook up, and get back on the air. Thanks for watching guys, uh, Sean with Bio Unlimited. Pop back and uh, check out some other videos. Hey guys, sorry about that. I guess it wouldn't be fair if I didn't show you the finished project, would I? So here we go. I got a little bit of, a little bit of sun on that side. But if you can see her there, I got one, two, three, four in a row. And this is how they're connected. So that's number one. That's the end one, the farthest from the feed line in. Line runs down. Next one just hooked in through the bottom, through that clamp, back out into the next one. Same thing, back out through. And then we go into the last one up and through the shop through a piece of PVC pipe and then I just got insulation shoved in the end of that and a hose clamp on each side so it doesn't come out of the wall either way insulation in there so I don't get any critters or anything like that going through and that's that thanks for watching guys